This is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. Today I'm gonna do a quick video on flashing the older Hitachi drives with the new Jungle Flasher 1.51 beta. First couple things you need to do is get your iExtreme Hitachi firmware and of course get the new Jungle Flasher 1.51 beta. After you have that in your computer you start up and launch your jungle flasher you might as well keep this window open because we're going to be moving some stuff into this firmware folder right here in just a few minutes get jungle flasher started I have also extracted the Hitachi firmware into a folder on my desktop which that's it there go over to your Hitachi tab I have mine hooked up with a connectivity kit I'm not using this for mode B the only thing I'm using that for is for powering the drive that's it so I've turned the connectivity kit on I have my SATA hooked up under port properties go and find your drive B000 is my port it's a Hitachi 59 it tells you right there exactly what it is that's the firmware we want to move in to the firmware folder this is the extracted firmware the iExtreme and the original in it what I'm going to do is copy in the 59 original and the 59 I extreme. I'm going to copy those into the firmware folder. Once that's done, you can close those out. This drive has been flashed before, so I'm going to do a restore first. If it hadn't been flashed before, you should be able to go straight to the Flash Eye Extreme here. But the drive's listed. I'm going to send the Mode B. It tells you you're about to send Mode B. If you're using a connectivity kit, open the tray now, which I open the drive. Power off your Hitachi drive. I've now powered it off. Then press OK. When you see the dots, power on the drive there's the dots powered the drive on now it said you need to give it a few seconds to make sure that it does mount up it won't show over here or anything you don't mess with any of this I'm using a port IO I've got a check in there and like I say my SATA is hooked straight to the motherboard it's not a VIA now the first thing I want to restore firmware so I'll put a dot in that and then click the restore to stock it's doing its thing it takes it a few seconds it says flashing stability test report stable do you wish to continue Click yes now it's actually flashing it back to original now now it's going to verify once again this takes a second Alright, now it's just telling you it's been set that it's been restored. Click OK. Now what we're ready to do is flash in the I Extreme. So you put your check in that. Click Flash Hacked Firmware. 
it's going to dump the flash and make sure things are ready to go I use pick a place to save your Hitachi original firmware Now it says it's stable again. I ask if you want to continue. Click yes. It has automatically loaded our iExtreme in there that we moved into the firmware folder. Right now I just want to say thanks to Commodore, Caster, everybody involved with the Jungle Flasher. This is a really awesome program for doing these older Hitachis. It's verifying the flash. It's already flashed it quickly. It's verifying the flash now. Once it says flash complete, that's it. You're done and it's good to go. Put it in and test it out.